Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another sweet SketchUp for Schools or My Dot SketchUp tutorial. This time we're going to call it the greatest wall ever or the GOAT, and it's going to get us through some super cool skills that help us build quick and fast. So let's get cracking. Step one is to get to SketchUp for Schools. My school, we cannot launch it, so we go to the HL Mod Tech website and simply use this link to launch SketchUp for Schools. The default template is feet and inches, and that's what we're going to work with today. So we can simply pick a new name. And like I said, this is a wall, and I'm going to have you put your initials after it. I've done this several times, so I'm going to put a six after mine, so that way it's unique. Remember in SketchUp, you click the folder once and then hit select, and it saves it where you want. We do not need the gentleman in the middle, so we're going to hit delete, and we are going to switch to the rectangle tool. Once again, click, and then click again to choose the rectangle tool. Stretch it out on the green line, and then we are going to make it 40 feet long. So remember, type 40, and then the foot symbol, and then do comma, and then make it 2 feet thick, and press enter. Don't forget to put the foot symbol after both, or it'll look really, really wacky. Mine moved along the red axis, and that is just fine. I am pushing in the scroll wheel to rotate. Remember, you can also orbit with the orbit tool. Switch to the push-pull tool, and we are going to pull it up and let's go up 20 feet once again typing 20 and the foot symbol so now we've got a really tall wall we are gonna put a couple kinds of windows on our wall let's start with the rectangle and just move to this corner and near the top and I just simply want you to make a decent sized rectangle if you get the golden section that just means it's got great dimensions and should look more pleasing to the eye Whatever you pick, click it, and then we want to switch to the select tool, and we want to double click it. Do the move tool, and we want to click on this corner, and then tap control so we're moving a copy. Notice how it shows I'm on the red axis. I just want to set a copy out here in space because I'm going to use it later. All right, here's where the magic happens. Let's double click this little window. Let's press the shortcut M for move, and we want to grab the right corner. When you're dragging it, note that I'm on the red axis, and I want you to simply tap control so you're in copy mode. When you click to set it down, immediately hit the divided by key, and then a three or a four, and press enter. And notice it spreads them out, divided exactly as they need to be on your wall. Switch to the push-pull tool. And we want to push this first one through and then take the red arrow and touch it to the back of the project. You can do that for each of these. Notice I click the face and then I touch it to any back corner that I can see easily. And that way it snaps right to that. You could also use the midpoint of that back edge. That's all you're doing is tracking one spot so the system knows how far you wanted to cut it out. That is way number one that we're going to use shapes and cut things out and also do the distribution. The second cool technique we're going to use is a component. I want you to double click so the entire shape is selected and we want to make a component and we're going to name this win as in window. Now let's orbit around so we can see the back of our wall. And we're going to use the move command which you can use the shortcut M or just click the corner and we're going to move it right to the edge of that window. Let's do that move and copy command. So I'm going to tap control. And now I'm going to set one in that window. I'm going to hit M and control again after clicking to set one in that window. I'm going to click this one and do control to set one in this window. And I'm going to click this corner and tap control and set one in this window. So now we've got all the windows set in. Let's move around to the front and watch the magic of components come to life. First, let's double click one of our components and notice it turns green because we're editing in the component. Next, instead of push pull, I want you to switch to offset. Click the inside of that face. Click the inside of that face and hold so that you can adjust it 
and then I just want you to adjust it out to the edge of your window area. You pick how big that is, it doesn't really matter. We're just watching how this happens to every window at once. Right now I switch to the push-pull tool, and I'm gonna push-pull this out halfway, or halfway-ish, and then I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna push-pull this out just a little as well. Switch to the materials, and we want to browse for some cool materials. I want you to browse for glass, pick a color of glass, and when you paint that window, notice you've immediately got glass on all of your components. Let's go back to the colors, or you could use wood, cladding, or anything you pick, and find a color that you think is cool. I'm gonna use red, and then I'm just gonna paint all those little corners nice and quick noting that it paints all the way around the project at the same time. That is the beauty of using components. To finish up our component, just click outside the project while using the select tool. All right, I'm gonna challenge you to pick a different shape and do that same technique again. I'm gonna do it with a polygon. Once again, I'm going to stretch it out, pick whatever shape I want. I want to make sure that I keep it on an axis so that it lines up. I'm going to do a hexagon, but then I'm going to switch it. Watch this. If I click the blue outline, and when you do Entity Info, you can change the segments. I'm going to make this a eight-sided octagon window. So when I press Enter, it looks like an octagon. Now I'm going to double-click. I'm going to do that same move. I'm going to go from the edge to the center, stay on the red line, tap control so that I'm setting a copy. When I set it down, I'm going to do my divided by, and I'm going to do three and press enter. Remember, I want you to do a different shape. That's why I went from the natural to the octagon. Then we're going to click on that first shape and do the M for move again, and I'm going to set the copy off in space. Just moving it over here, keeping it on the red axis. Tap in control so it's a copy and leaving it be. I'm going to orbit so I can see it from a corner. P for push pull. Select this inside, do P for push pull, and then I'm going to push pull it back to the edge. And then the rest, I'm going to let you solve on your own. Remember to make this a component and remember to do your push pulls so that it looks super awesome after you move it to where you're going to put it. Make sure you just grab an endpoint and put it where it goes. Let's select that cool shape. Hit M for move. Make sure you grab your endpoint. Tap control and put them all in place. And then push pull on the front to make them look awesome. Spin around to the front. Zoom in. Double click. Do your offset. Click and drag to your happy. P for push-pull, pull it out just a little, pick whatever you want. I'm going to click on the inside and push-pull it as well. And then return to your materials and paint your awesome windows and the wall. I'm going to speed up the painting of this one by doing Control a to grab all of it. Pick a funky color and it just paints all at once. Then I'm going to go back to my select tool and click just the middle and find my cool glass so that I can paint it when I'm done. Remember, you just go to Browse, find your cool choices that you want, pick the one that you think is going to be nifty, and then paint it in. Click somewhere else to make it permanent, and then the finishing touch is to go back to Brick and Cladding and paint your hole. Once again, if you click one piece of your wall and do Control a it'll grab everything, and you can fill it in all at once. How amazing is that? When you're done, click Save. And if you're in my classroom, turn in a screenshot. If you're out on the internet, pat yourself on the back for just learning how to make some awesome windows. So friends, if you found this useful, please mash that like button. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.